Does Tennessee really offer free college? Well, that's what we'll be covering today and more right after this. Hi, I'm Charlotte from the Volts team. Welcome back. I'm a real estate broker, a certified probate specialist and trust advisor in the many cities of the Inland Empire, including Redlands, Loma Linda, Fontana, San Bernardino, Rancho Cucamonga, Ontario, and the high desert. And every week I post tips, insights, and updates to help you gain clarity. And today we are talking about the state of Tennessee. Just recently I helped Lance and I helped Carrie, I helped Larry and I helped Mary. Can you believe that? Now, as you know, I always like to start with a fun fact. Something that's interesting and unique about a state. Well, in Tennessee, from the Consumer Reports, Tennessee has a law that makes it illegal to share passcodes to your Netflix account. You could be fined up to $2,500. Now, family members are exempt, but friends aren't. Now, you can read the details on the Consumer Report website. But it seems you aren't able to watch Netflix for free, but you can receive free college tuition in Tennessee. Yes, you heard me right. Free college. Governor Bill Haslam's back in 2017 said they wanted to increase the number of residents with a college education and get that number up to 55% by 2025. Now a student can choose from one of 13 community colleges in the state and the students have been a state resident for at least a year can save up to $3,700 a year, which is the average cost of tuition and fees. Now a must have in Tennessee is a vehicle because the fact is there's not much public transportation there. And with that, the good news is traffic is not bad in Tennessee and car registration is a mere $29 a year. There are cities that charge a wheel tax, but not many. And the average car insurance for someone in their 30s is about $1,275 a year. Now driving around exploring your surroundings, you're going to find just humongous areas of outdoor beauty with the 12 national parks. And here's a few of them. There's the Great Smokies, the Big South Fork, the Appalachian, and the Shiloh. So if you're into being out in nature, it's endless in this beautiful state of Tennessee. And most people, when they think of Tennessee, they think of country music. That's right, that's because Nashville, Tennessee is the country music capital of the world. But you can find all kinds of music entertainment there from Grand Old Opry to the Nashville Symphony. Now, really quick, before I get into Tennessee cost of living and taxes and home costs, I just want to give a quick shout out to those of you that have already subscribed here. I'm just so grateful that you're part of my community. And remember to click that share button, that like button, and you may have a friend who's contemplating new destination options. Tennessee may be something for them to consider as well. For those that have not subscribed, this is a great time to reach down and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you'll be notified of the next video. Now, as I help friends find the right home, the most important concern has always been the cost of living. That's why Lance wanted to go to Tennessee. And just recently, when I helped Amy and Josh move from Temecula to the high desert, or Bob and Angela move from Ventura to Oak Hills, the ability to stretch their dollar to have a better quality of life was of top priority. Tennessee's cost of living is 10.2% less than the national average, making it a location for big consideration for sure. And what I've helped three families so far in the last six weeks. There's no state income tax. There's no pension tax. There's no state property tax. The only property tax is from the local government. Now to me, these savings sound like a great way to stretch your dollar. Now here's some comparison highlights between Los Angeles and Nashville Davidson, Tennessee. Nashville Davidson is 41.5% less expensive than Los Angeles. And Nashville Davidson housing costs are 62% less than Los Angeles housing costs. Now here, 
From the crazy tours are the top three places to live in in Tennessee. There's Brentwood with a medium price home of $731,432. There's Franklin with a medium home price of $515,025. And then there's Germantown with a medium price at $375 approximately. Now as you see here, Tennessee just like in California depending on where you look, there are affordable options to stretch your dollar. Comment below if you'd like some insights on either Brentwood, Franklin, or Germantown to help navigate the next steps on your journey. See you next time.